Many of you have requested a breakdown of my production template in FL Studio and so in this video we're gonna make one from scratch together and at the end you can download mine if you want to. Load up an empty project from the templates and let's start by setting up our mixer. Scroll all the way to the end of the mixer. In my case I have five tracks dedicated to my buses. So holding control I will left click and drag above the tracks to select five, right click and dock them to the left. Name and color them accordingly. Drums bus, bass bus, melodics bus, vocals bus and effects bus. Scroll to the end of the mixer again, select a few tracks for your effects sense, right click and dock them to the right. I usually set up four reverbs and two delays. These obviously vary according to your needs and plugins that you have. Highlight them all, color them the same as your effects bus, right click under the effects bus and route to this track only. Now each of these effects channels are going only to the effects bus and from there to the master bus. On my effects bus I always have an EQ. I low cut to about 200 hertz and high cut to about 7k inside the playlist highlight the first six tracks right click track mode audio track and insert one these tracks are now linked from the mixer to the playlist name the first one kick color the drums according to your drum bus and your basses according to the bass bus highlight the drums right click under the drum bus route to this track only the same for the basses but under the bass bus. From here, selecting the kick track, I'm gonna hold the shift button, left click under the bass track to send the sidechain signal from my kick to my bass. On my bass track, I load an EQ, click on the gear icon, go to the second tab, processing, under stereo sidechain, right click and route your kick. Now inside this particular plugin, I create a band on 50 hertz, right click to make it dynamic, drag it down to about minus six dB, make it a little bit narrower, click on auto, and enable external sidechain inside Pro-Q3 using this button. Now every time my kick hits, this particular frequency will dip on my bass channel. You could of course route your own method of sidechain, whether it's peak controller, soothe or dock. Moving on to the master bus, at the very end I place a meter of choice. Before that I always have my limiter, Fab Filter Pro L2, ceiling on minus 0.5, style for me on transparent. One final plugin that's loaded into my template on the master bus is Vertigo VSM3, which is a mastering saturator with two modules. The reason there are no plugins loaded on my effects sense is because each of us have different tastes in reverbs and delays and plugins that we have and so for some reason if you want to have it exactly like me you can download mine from my link in bio whenever you've made all your changes and you're ready click on file save as template name it accordingly and press enter then click on options general settings scroll down to the miscellaneous section under default template pick the one you just created and under startup project pick default template this way every time you open FL studio by default your template loads up.